everyone. Welcome to Becky's Mandarin class. It's a shame I couldn't deliver this lesson to you face to face in the school like we normally do. So I put a picture of me. So、um, I thought at least you could see my face and、uh, hear my voice. I'm Miss Zhang Zhang 老师 And today I'm going to teach you Mandarin lesson, Chinese lesson. First, I want to ask, what do you know about China? You must know something about China. Okay, I'm thinking you must be thinking about Kung Fu Panda, or Chinese Takeaway, or the Great Wall of China. Okay, question one. Where is China? Let's have a look at the map. You have four options. Oh, you have five options: A, B, C, D, and E. So, which one do you think is China? I'll give you three seconds to think about it. E, R, Sun. Okay, here is the answer. There we go. China is here in the middle of Asia. Let's have a look at the map of China and the UK. China, 中国，中国 and the UK, 英国，英国 You must be wondering what are those? What are these symbols, the characters, and what are these letters? I will explain to you after. It's time to talk about what do you know about Chinese language. Question two: What's the most speaking language in the world? You have four options. Still, I'll give you three seconds to think about it. E, R, S. Okay, I know some of you are thinking. Okay, it must be English. Oops. How about Spanish? Okay, let's try Chinese Mandarin. Yes, so Chinese Mandarin is the most speaking language in the world. How to say hello in Chinese? Okay, we have one, two, three, four different options. Let's see which one is most like the one the the complicated writing you've seen before. This one, right, with the symbols. 你好。你好 Let's have a look of how to read the Chinese characters. We use pinyin. So Chinese use Latin alphabet to write the pronunciation. So pinyin is the pronunciation of the character of the Chinese words, and pinyin could help us to learn and pronounce the words properly. See this one, 你 This part is the Chinese pinyin, the pronunciation, and this part is the Chinese character, 你 the writing part. Okay, 你好 hello. Let's see the pinyin part, the pinyin with the alphabet and plus. You must be wondering what's this little tick mean. That's the tongue of the pinyin. So, in Mandarin, there are four tongues in total: one, two, three, and four. Imagine you are climbing a mountain. The first tongue, with no changing, it's like you are walking on the flat ground. And second tongue, it's like you are climbing a mountain to、so、go up. And third tongue, you going down and then up. And the fourth tongue is going down. Okay, so 你 is the third tongue. Listen to me, 你 So it's like the voice has changed a little bit, going down and then up. The Chinese characters, while、well, you must be thinking they are too complicated, 
but actually they are not. So the Chinese characters develop it from pictures of real things. Look at this pic. Look at this character and see if you can guess the meaning of it. That one looks like a person walking. So 人 this one means people or person. This little square 口 it's a mouth. A mu doesn't it look like a tree? Yes. So mu means tree or wood. And shan shan it's a mountain. For some characters, they may be difficult to see at the first glance, but if you see the how it has evolved over time, you will be knowing the meaning. Let's see. First, 日 this one means sun or day. The first picture is a drawing of the sun. That's a very very ancient character, and then the ancient Chinese. To represent sun using a circle and a dot, and nowadays the modern Chinese character for sun is looks it looks like that. Same for 月月 means moon, so it's just like a sleeping moon. 雨雨 means rain. There's a cloud. Window and rain drops on the window. Okay, it's time to learn some real, real sentences, real words in Mandarin. First one, hello. Read after me. 跟我读。你好。你好。你好。My name is. My name is. 我叫。我叫。我叫。So you use 我叫 and plus Tim. Plus your name. If your name's Tim, 我叫 Tim. 我叫 Tim. Thanks. 谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。Goodbye. 再见。再见。再见。I guess you are thinking, oh, there are a lot of words and sentences to remember. Actually, I will tell you, you would be able to learn all the those words and sentences in two minutes. Let's watch this video and sing this song with Tim. You'll be able to learn all the words and sentences in two minutes. I bet you are all singing at home. Sing this song at the moment. It's a very, very catchy song, and and it will help you to remember all the greeting, all the words and sentences we learned today. 
Okay, I want to thank you, everyone, for watching this video and to learn this Mandarin lesson today. So, 再见 everyone. 再见。